Why is Mr. Gandhi hobnobbing with those who are funded by Jos Soros? The Global Vice President of the Open Society Foundation, funded by Mr. George Soros, was found accompanying Sri Gandhi. What is extremely distressing is the link with the Islamic circle of North America. The question that has been left unanswered by the Congress party is this. Is it true that Sri Gandhi met Sunita Vishwanath during his trip to the United States of America? Ladies and gentlemen of the press, you are aware that I myself had done a press conference with regards to George Soros's intentions to destabilize a democratic elected government in India. Question is, when it is known to every Indian what George Soros intends to do, why is Mr. Gandhi hobnobbing with those who are funded by Jos Soros? It is also evident that this is not the only Soros connection. Even in Mr. Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra in Karnataka, the Global Vice President of the Open Society Foundation, funded by Mr. George Soros, was found accompanying Sri Gandhi. What is extremely distressing is the link with the Islamic circle of North America. Those in the public domain who will research how the registration process for NRI interaction with Mr. Gandhi in New York ensued will find contact of a gentleman, Tazim Ansari. Mr. Ansari has an organizational link, it is believed, on the basis of publicly available records with the Jamaat-e-Islami. I attract your attention to a 116th Congress Resolution 160 in the House of Representatives on the 28th of February 2019. This resolution expressed concern about the thread post to democracy by theocratic groups operating in South Asia. And a part of the resolution speaks about the affiliation between the Islamic Circle of North America and Jamaat-e-Islami. Irrespective of these documents available in public domain, the Congress has neither refuted a meeting between Mr. Gandhi and an individual funded, financially supported by Jos Soros, nor has the Congress party rejected the role of a certain Mr. Tazim Ansari who has links with an organization that a U.S. resolution in the House of Representatives openly declares is affiliated to Jamaat-e-Islami. It is expected that the Congress party given its draconian past, will leverage 
any instrument available to it to stifle those who voice an opinion against the gandhi family